What's up guys and welcome back to part 12 of this Mercedes minibus camper van conversion. So today's episode I'm going to be starting to clad out the bathroom area. I've been out and bought some white sparkle shower boards, they're all brand new and it's all the tongue and groove click clack type uh, boarding. So they're all going to be cut down to shape and I'm going to be lining both the sides and beneath the window with the boards. I'll also be doing behind where the toilet's going to be going as well. And I'm also going to have to encapsulate that very top bit where the original bus electrics were running along the top of the fiberglass panel. I've got some plywood that I'm going to be cutting down into shape to angle off that top section. And then again that will all be get, uh, getting cladded as well. The top will be getting your standard white ceiling PVC cladding when I've got some of that but I'm still waiting for that to arrive for the delivery. Now, if you haven't seen the previous episodes of this conversion Episodes 1 to 11 are all on my channel at the moment. That involves stripping the bus down to the bare chassis, building it up to as you see today, that's pretty much around about half completed. So I'm going to get some safety gear out, some tools out, take some measurements, get that top bit of ply cut down and fitted in. Then we'll start getting the cladding on and we'll see how far we get on in this episode. So let's get cracked on. Thank you. 
right guys so there we go that is the bathroom all fully cladded as much as I can at the moment all of the walls are done the shower tray is fully stuck in place the shower boards have been cut to go around the shower tray as well I've also put a bit of trim just beneath the window just to be sure that any dripping down water is going to hit that trim run over the edge and straight down the shower board into the shower tray as well I've also got some of the white PVC ceiling cladding up in place along with two LED lights that will be wired into the dimmer switch that's going to be going there when that's ready to go in place as well so again that's not a bad weekend's work really obviously the bathroom area is still not fully finished I've got to get a front door on this area as well as another little separating dividing wall as well I'll probably be fitting a timbre style door into the shower unit as well that might be coming in the next episode if not it'll be relatively soon coming up because I've also got to get the shower mounted on this wall and again I need to get everything mounted in this wall section water wise the shower all the water pipes the electrics for the light before I can then re-panel this and get this panel cladded on as well so the next episode I'll probably be going around and fitting the shower in here running some of the water pipes but I don't have the water heater or pump in place at the moment so the pipes will probably just be dropped beneath the van ready to be connected up at a later date as well but I'm quite happy and pleased with how this has all turned out it's really nice and bright as well so it'll give a nice bright area for the bathroom area as well and as I say it's fully sealed in as well so there shouldn't be any issues with regards to any water going in anywhere as well so I hope you found this video useful if you did, consider giving it a good old thumbs up. If you haven't seen all the rest of the conversion so far that's got me up to this stage, it's all on my channel, documented job by job, weekend by weekend, just to show how much progress I'm getting done in two days per week, as I can and when. So pop back next week for next week's update as well. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, and as I say, give the video a good old thumbs up, and hopefully I'll see you on next week's update. Thanks for watching. Cheers.